I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I expected Miami to beat Florida State more convincingly than what they did. I thought the final score was going to be 72-3 coming into this game. And watching Miami play Florida State was a little bit disappointing because they were playing really conservatively. Cam Ward wasn't taking a lot of shots downfield. That's what he normally has. They were more relying on the run game. Damian Martinez had a really good night. And the offense just didn't really play with that same level of intensity, that same level of aggressiveness that we've seen them play with for the entirety of this season. And I really feel like Miami really showed a lot of mercy and grace to Florida State. You know, Mario Cristobal was kind of calling off the dogs. He was like, you know, we're not trying to be a wounded horse. We're not trying to kick somebody while they're already down. Like, because if we kick Mike Norvell in Florida State while we're down, like, the dude probably is going to lose his job after the game. And I just feel like Miami kind of didn't come into this game with a lot of intensity. This game didn't really have that rivalry game lust to it, if you get what I mean. Because in these rivalry games, like I was watching the Michigan State-Michigan highlights. You you feel me? It was hard hitting. It it was aggressive. You know, it was guys getting into it almost nearly every play, it seemed like. Always some back and forth. It it didn't really feel like that in this game. You you didn't really feel the, the animosity. You didn't feel the hatred between these two programs you just saw a game where you knew Miami was going to come in and take care of business and they did just that you know and I'm not complaining with that I'll take a win like this any day of the week but when it's Florida State you know you you really want to give it to them like when the program that you hate the most is down like you really just want to put them in the dirt you you just want to walk on over them step on them spit on them pick them up choke slam them do it again until they just can't move anymore and i really expected more out of miami in this game you know i thought miami's offense wasn't even going to have to punt this game You, you know and the fact that Florida State was able to score 14. It it just runs me the wrong way because when FSU is having a season as bad as this one, you really want to rub it in their face. You you, you feel me? Like, this was a chance for Miami to just outright embarrass Florida State. And they did, but I don't really think it's as humiliating as what it should have been. And then you got Mario Cristobal talking after the game. Like, if you're a recruit, you you see what we building down here in Miami. You see the direction that their program is going. Like, Mario, cut it out. Like, come on, Mario. Like, you you got Cam Ward. If Florida State had Cam Ward, they still wouldn't be as good as what Miami is. But they, they want to be 1-7 right now. Come on, Mario. Like, we, we know who you are. You, you feel me? You, you've had some bad seasons. Come on now. Be, be a little bit humble now. Mario Cristobal has been a little bit cocky this year. Wouldn't y'all agree? Like, he's kind of been popping a little bit too much for the way Miami kind of has played in some of their games, man. Like, it, it, can, can you show up and win the ACC championship before you start doing all this chirping? Can you make some noise in the college football playoffs? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Miami's having a good season. You feel me? I'm happy as a Hurricane fan. I really am, but I'm not getting too ahead of myself. Every time people ask me, JT, how you feel about your Hurricanes? Your Hurricanes looking good. It's just like, yeah, I'm taking it day by day. Because I know how it is with this program. I I know that they can be on top looking good for a moment. And then out of nowhere, they can just come back down to earth at any point. The only difference between this year's Miami's team In the years past of Miami football is that you got a superstar quarterback in Cam Ward. And this dude has been a blessing to Miami football. And as a Miami Hurricane fan, I really doubt we're going to be this good moving forward once Cam Ward leaves. Because this dude is a program changer. And anybody who thinks that he's going to be a bust at the NFL level, like, you need to watch some more Cam Ward. This dude is an insane quarterback. There were several times against Florida State where this dude should have gotten sacked, but he's moving around, buying time in the pocket, making guys miss. This dude is just a playmaker. And anytime you got Cam Ward at quarterback, there's not a single game that you don't have a chance at being able to win. But if you take him off this year's team, 
I really don't know how good Miami would be. It's really hard to trust Miami with Mario as the head coach. And I really don't trust Mario. The only reason I believe in this team the way I do is because of Cam Ward, that quarterback. But once he leaves and, you know, the good season that Miami has kind of goes off into the bits because we, we start thinking about next year, I probably don't think Miami will win this conference over Clemson because Cam Ward is just such a program changer at quarterback that it makes it really hard to get a good read on how good Mario is as a head coach. You, you know, it's not like he developed Cam Ward and turned him into a stud. The dude was already a baller at Washington State. He was balling at Incarnate Ward. So th this dude going to Miami, playing with all that five- and four-star talent Miami has, it it's no surprise that this dude's playing like a Heisman finalist. But when you take a guy like this off the team, it makes things a lot different, and you really got to coach the team up. Not saying Mario isn't already coaching the team up, but with Cam Ward, he can get you out of a lot of holes. Like we saw against Cal, Virginia Tech. If you don't have Cam Ward, you definitely lose those games. And Miami, at least based off the quarterback that they've recruited, Ja'Cory Brown, Tyler Van Dyke, a lot of them haven't panned out. So it's hard to believe that Miami is going to be in the same position around this time next year once Cam Ward leaves compared to the position that they're in right now. But against Florida State, I, I just expected a, a little bit more of a domination. It, it was domination, but it wasn't total domination. Like, I, I really wanted Miami to kick Florida State's ass. Like, I really wanted to give it to Florida State. With all the crap their fans were talking, all the hype they were getting going into this season – I really believe that Miami didn't put their pedal to the metal this game. It looks like they were just trying to get by. They were just trying to walk out with the win and get on the next week, which is, is nothing wrong with that. You you feel me? And you did cover minus 21, but it's just like, man, my, Miami really had an opportunity to rub Florida State's face in the mud. And the, the final score, I, I just think they could have ran it up a little bit more. Now, they, they were trying to do some trick plays in the end. You feel me? But th th this could have been more of a beatdown than what it was. Because Florida State, when, when you're going up against a team that has no dog on the offense, no offensive line, receivers that can't catch, uh, bad quarterback play galore, you, you expect a 48-3 beatdown or like a 72-3 beatdown. But a win's a win. Miami is still undefeated. I'm happy about it as a Hurricanes fan, but I really wanted to see Miami just annihilate Florida State because I remember that year when they had Jameis Winston. I believe it was 2013, and Miami still had Stephen Morris or Brad Collier. I forgot who was at quarterback during the time, but they just completely train wrecked the Hurricanes, and I would never forget it because the neighborhood I was living in at the time, it was an apartment complex, it was filled with nothing but Florida State fans. And when Florida State destroyed Miami that year and they put like a 40 burger on them, and nobody would let me hear the end of it. And I just really wanted this to be one of those games that Miami beat Florida State so bad that they remember, you ever got a whooping so bad that you woke up two mornings later and you still felt it? That's how I thought this Miami FSU game was going to go. And you you really can't say Miami put a belt to ass. I don't really think they put a belt to ass. Like, you, you feel me? I feel like they gave them a little bit of a spanking. But it wasn't one of those spankings that you tell somebody, hey, go outside, you you know, get me a switch, and it better be a good one because you don't want me to go out there and have to pick one for you. You feel me? But Miami's A to no. I'm always going to be happy when the Canes win, but I kind of wanted Miami to throw a little bit more salt in the wound.